not just playing, but waiting for other sets to happen. When those go to game five, that's more of a drain on you. And I think that right there lends itself to the like ups and downs. As you start to get tired, you start to get those swings where I'm doing everything perfect. And then all of a sudden fatigue sets in a little bit and I start to falter. And then my opponent has his sine wave of success and failure and success and failure. Well, Sparky, let's get into it. Grand finals for the trial of Ymir, the final 1v1, Radish versus Java. Now, Radish, of course, coming in with that Red Raptor. He's already started with those D-Sigs that he was finding earlier very successfully against Stingray. Side air connects onto Radish, or onto Java. Java still able to get that wall. Did you see Radish just hopping right there? He's like, if you come too close, I'm gonna throw that down air right over the corner. If you go too high, hit you with that side air. And that time Radish gets the side air. He's got his pick of weapons. It's gonna be the boots. Is he gonna go for more down six? Oh, get punched in the face. Okay, Java's just keeping him out there one hit at a time. What's the dodge? Ooh. Keeping the field stripped of weapons. Now swapping over to the orb. Oh. Dude, Reddish is on fire today, man. I underestimated him this weekend. That is for sure. I think a lot of people were not expecting this caliber, caliber of play coming out from Reddish. Java, though, does a good job cleaning that one up. Reddish still looking healthy. Java doesn't pick up the spear there. He's done that a couple times where he's like, you know what, I'll throw out like one or two unarmed moves before immediately going over to that weapon spawn and picking that one up. He feels comfortable with like one or two hits. He's not gonna push it hard. He's not South America by any means, but he's okay to throw out a couple hits to at least hit you away for a moment. So that gives him more breathing room to pick up that weapon. You heard Java start to charge up that neutral signature, but Radish actually stuffs it out without falling side air. Down air gets over the Beautiful corner. Beautiful down air. Dude, perfectly this is, placed. This is a map where you want it, too. Those Absolutely. short walls make it really hard to avoid. And I feel like we've seen Radish do a better job with that down air right over the corner than we have seen from Java so far. That precise orb gameplay. And that's kind of what you would expect, given that Radish was, like, the only orb guy for very long. Okay. But Java does find that spear recovery. He's going to go for the spear here. The weapon spawn Java with the denial. <laughs> what are you doing, dog? It's he, one damage. He just is. straight up jumped and walked into that one on purpose. It's one damage. It's one. Side let side air. He's putting the bricks to him now. Oh my gosh. There's the side air sending over to the edge. The recovery immediately coming out, but Java gets back to the main. Side light side air. Goes for the dare, actually a little bit off the mark that time. Ended up bouncing it off the stage. Not sure if that was a bait though. It could have been a bait to bounce off the stage. Then Java sees that and is like, oh look, I can get up now, come over the corner. All of a sudden I'm throwing out an immediate move, which because Java didn't do that, we didn't see the immediate reaction after that from Radish. So I'm willing to give benefit of the doubt there to Radish. Very fair, Radish. Oh, playing That's so good, low. that dare is so good, dude. Four hundred damage oh. on that orb compared uh, to Jabba's. Oh, there's no way he only did twenty six. I swear he at least picked up like more side light side airs, or at least like three or four nairs. I had the same exact thought go through my head where I saw the twenty six and I was like, "There's no there's way that's no real." Way. There's no way that's real. I but trust I also, the stats though. I can't think of a moment where Java really did much with the orb. Instead, we're going into game number two. Radish's orb is definitely the bigger threat. Okay, Java trying to put out more than 26 damage this time. Yep. Gets an air, gets a down oh light, gosh, gets a follow-up. He's doing a great job so far. Ooh, okay, Radish goes low for the recovery. Now going back over to the spear. There's the side light. Now we're starting to see those neutral signatures come in from Java. Hoping to grab Radish out of the air, but Radish has been playing really grounded. Now he's going up in the air because he felt maybe safe with that soft platform between him and Java. He could land Ooh. on that. There's the D-Sig starting to come out here. Side light. Oh, goes for the N-Sig this time. Tries to mix it up a little bit, but both of them relatively even in damage. They're going to be looking for those KO tools. There's a falling side air. Does an active input to chase. Ruka. 
robbery. Not okay. Enough. Oh, man, these these games are exhausting. Ooh. I don't know how these players do it. I really don't. I mean, they're used to it. Of, of course, both of them high caliber players. They've been in these positions before, like you said. They've both won their own respective seasonals. They're both really strong players who have gone the distance. But right now, Radish has to get another KO onto Java if he wants to keep this one close, because Java's finding a lot of damage here. Signature usage from Java, those signature follow-ups specifically. Really starting to come out, make connection. There's the side air. Radish did not touch before that. There's the neutral air, and that's enough to KO. And Java has a two-stock lead here in game two against Radish. I think I could count on one hand the number of times an unarmed neutral air yeah. has KO'd in competitive Brawl. Ooh, unfortunately for Rage, that was from the middle of the stage, and the unarmed recovery is enough to do it. That lead has shrunk from two stocks down to one. Still a mighty one. Easily overspacing that. Okay, good spacing there, but doesn't get the read that he wants. Ooh, weapon toss, not gonna work for Radish there. Trying to cover the corner. Java with nice. the ice sig, and it's gonna KO. Whoa, that's a two stock for Java. He was just in the yellow there too. Yeah, that was a nice two stock for Java. He's gonna march this forward and try to get that reset. We talked about the potential for a game 10. I, I'm, I'm believing a game five at the very least. And the wild thing is that we saw an unarmed neutral air KO, and yet Java didn't have to do like 650 damage. He, he did 487. Yes, yeah, that's like very <laughs> wow. normal numbers. Wow, no, that's not even just normal. Like that's an incredible number. Oh yeah, yeah, that's like efficient, I guess. Yeah. That's but 156 or something. I don't. Uh, also, I, I don't. I don't, I don't couple that with like, it wasn't like Radish was falling after those yep. or anything like that. It was just like he did enough damage and got him with a heavy enough hit right on time. It's 162 damage, average per three, three stocks two, from one, Radish. Incredible four. efficiency. I know Junebug was in the back, like shaking his head. Like I know it's 162. <laughs> 162.33. You're repeating. I like, didn't know it was. Radish over the boots. Gravity cancel neutral light the wrong way. Yeah, that must have been a misinput there because even if Java dodged back in, there's no way he was covering that much ground. Maybe if he had a chase dodge, but obviously he just got hit, so he's not going to have a chase dodge. Okay, nice punish there. There's a burn dodge from Java. Radish might recognize another burn dodge there, but Radish really respecting the range that this orb can cover. Now Java has those soft platforms that he can retreat to if he needs to. And he's been using them so far. Now Radish also Ooh. has the exact same thing. We're gonna see a recovery attempt. No, he just goes back to the main platform. Nice punish after that side light. Of course, the two piece coming out. Over to the orb. Java able to come high. You, you don't see Radish doing that same kind of bunny hopping, hoping for the dare because there's so many different places Java can recover to. And that's the beauty of the way Jabba recovered, is like he recovered super high. Oh! Okay. He's chasing, goes for the weapon toss, disengages, Radish can get back. The fact that Jabba could recover very high, but then also still fade back to the left and land on the left side of that left soft platform, rather than just having to hope he can land on the main ground, that gave him a lot of room there to vary up the way he gets back. You know, that's one of the values of tri-platform maps. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh that's frames. so active. Both of them in the red. Nair not going to hit. Wouldn't have KO'd, but it could have set up. Using the weapon toss to try to find his way in. Doesn't immediately go for the attack, but actually uses that as cover to grab the weapon spawn. The neutral light almost sending Radish off the screen. He did immediately recover after that. Staying low so he didn't get caught by the signature. He was still floating in the air. The neutral light sending Java over the edge. The weapon toss goes low. Java has plenty of room to get back because Radish moves over to grab the weapon. Weapon toss coming out from Radish. Just trying to keep Java at bay. Just poking him with the longest range projectile he can get, but there's the side air. Java can get the first stock. Dude, that's a two minute and 10 second stock. That's just first stock, man. How did these players do it? Like I get that I'm 32 <laughs> and we went to bed at like 3.30 last night. And you went to bed at 3.30. Oh, you probably night. went to bed later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Toss thrown out, Radish with the falling, uh, uh, Radish with the neutral, hits the ground pound. 
felt safe doing that because of course the weapon toss came out java dodged through that so the dodge was burned was put on that in-air dodge cooldown Covering that weapon there from below. You don't see him trying to deny it. Instead, he's like, I want this orb, oh! but I want to be in position. Doesn't hit the dare. Java will pick up an orb of his own. <laughs> dare battle? <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's two guys who just got a like, Fushigi ball for Christmas, <laughs> and they're like, oh, yo, you got one too! Okay, though. Radish, starting to find some hits. It's always interesting how mirror matches work out because sometimes it's like, okay, you do a move, I'm gonna do the same move now. But sometimes they're like leaning into specific like angles, mm -hmm. I guess. But really it feels like between Java and Radish, they're like, okay, you do a dare, I do a dare. You do a side air, I do a side air. Yep. It's, it's so many dodge circles. Okay, oh, that disarmed Radish him. Just winning out. Beautiful, again, that like perfect down air over the corner, getting up high just enough so it doesn't bounce off the main platform. It goes right over that edge, does get the KO, has himself a nice lead here, only about halfway through this second stock. But we did just point out how incredibly efficient Java was last game. Yo, but this game, it's basically two minutes per stock. Oh gosh, you're right. I'm sorry for sharing that with you, but there's the efficiency off the top platform. Java with a double end, a double down light into the recovery. Final stocks here, three minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. Java doing a great job playing that zoning game, making sure there's enough distance. Now he's gonna move in. Does hit the side light, side air. The dodge came out from Radish, instant punish. Weapon toss makes a little bit of a connection. Doesn't shake up Java too much, so he does eat that side air. No punish, Java was way too far away. He didn't have time to grab a side light, side air in the moment. Ooh, Radish missing with that down light, and Java actually gets gravity cancel side light off of it. Comes in with the nair, both of them. Looking for that vertical. Java sweat beating though. He has to dodge down, gets that ground touch. There, side air. Java gets disarmed. Can Raiders finish this off? Again, yeah, I, I think when he threw out the down air and it bounced off the corner, I think that's maybe what he wanted to do as a bait because he's he's been nailing those right over the corner or down airs. Ooh, goes for a side light there. That's it. That's a punish. Radish gonna take game number three. That was a five minute and 12 second game, but it seems to not be really getting to these players very much. It seems like they feel relatively at home. I don't know how painful these sets are, but they at least seem relatively comfortable enough in this pacing. As you saw, it got down to last stock red. It wasn't like, oh, things started to go long and Java got tired or Radish got tired or anything like that. Incredible stamina from these guys. Yeah, I mean, that's so important to uh, do as a competitor is put yourself in really uncomfortable situations so that when you're here and everything's on the line, you are comfortable with it. You can play inside of that. And Radish has been winning out. We're going Three, back to two, small terminus one, for game number four, potential final game of the trial of Ymir. They're both picking up orbs first. We're starting this one off with an orb mirror match. <laughs> Haven't seen those Dodge. signatures coming out from Radish in a while on either weapon. Yeah, it's rare for uh, orb sigs on the Red Raptor to really yes. come out to play. If there is one, it's going to be that side sig. But right now, Java was in the driver's seat. Radish got past him. Or it'll be like a big in sig read yeah. coming out as someone's going to recover high. Ooh, good spacing there. Goes for a two piece. Ooh. Oh, and he doesn't touch Java wow. denies with the down air. A beautiful interruption from Java. He was just kind of babysitting him over to the edge. He was constantly there. He didn't do like, I'm going to do my major big Java blast and hit the ground pound and send you to the blast zone. No, he did the smart move. He was very patient. All it needed what that was that little interruption to interrupt the wall touch. Great baby sitting on that edge guard, but Radish comes back, picks up the boots. He got that down sig, but he's over to the orb now for the potential KO. Is he gonna go for the dare again? No. Playing it patience. Giving respect to Java here. Both of them nearing at the exact same oh, time. Man. Both of them sidelining one after the other. But you can see 
how much more patience is coming out of Raiden. He's like, he sees Java's trying to go for the max range possible, and he's trying to just stand right outside of it and then punish two times. Java's gonna gravity cancel, and Raiden just hasn't had the height to punish it, but you can see the idea coming out. Oh, oh! Nice! Radish had to have done that the wrong direction. That had to be a misinput. Are we going to see the oh! same thing again? Goes for the side sig for the range. Java with the punish. There's the down sig. Finally gets the stock. But look at Radish's health. There's a real possibility of a game five, Sparky. Okay, nice three piece from Radish. Fighting his way back into this one, clawing, scratching. Side light into the side air, punishing the signature from Java. There's the side light into the side air again. These bread and butters coming out. Dare over the corner. Oh, oh bound over the corner. I was conditioned. Dude, playing the long game. That's the Raidish hustle right there. Dare after dare after dare. But the one time he needs a ground pound, he does it and he connects. But Java with a ground pound. It's another hit. It's going to be a recovery, not going to KO. The Orb Brothers. Dueling here in Terminus. Last stocks. Completely even on final stocks. Not a lick of damage yet on Java or Radish. Java does have weapon advantage. Spawn comes in on the left side. Radish is able to grab it. He did take a neutral air, but nothing serious in the process. <laughs> okay, dude. It's like me in training mode where I set the <laughs> bot to mirror my moves. It's two Orb players sharing one brain cell. Radish comes in, gets a two-piece. Java knows how important this is. This is a decider between a game five or a Radish dub. And that Radish was a from bold below. move from Radish to go for the GC sidelight over on the edge. He immediately got punished. Okay, setting up, Whoa. down air over the edge. That time he does go for the down Ooh. air. Spot dodge from Java, perfectly timed. Switches orbs, but he doesn't hit the end sig. Radish starting to find some big connections here, putting Java off stage. Ooh, whiffs the recovery. They're both being so careful. Barely wanting to move forward at all. Just kind of sitting hunkered down under their respective soft platforms on the left and the right. A, a proverbial line in the sand has been drawn. And they're both trying to shove it as close as they can. Radish finding more hits here. Java with recovery away from the stage, still gets back up, hits an air. Over the spear. Radish knows he has so much damage on Java. He knows a KO here means a gold medal. Whew. But every hit he takes brings it closer to a game five. Oh, you didn't even feel comfortable punishing that. Oh, the ending! And Java's gonna force a game five situation. Finds the signature, he wanted it, and you saw him prepping for it because he specifically decided to go to the spear. Radish wasn't able to clutch up in that moment. You saw him seemingly start to get nervous, and Java had that one major vote of confidence that he needed. He had that one little bit of confidence to reach up, throw out that neutral signature, catch Radish in the air, throw him down into the blast zone, and secure the game, also securing a game five. Dude, I was saying it earlier, man. Sometimes Java has to let the invasive thoughts win. Sometimes you gotta just do that weird thing because Radish, he's so used to playing this really methodical, safe and smart game. And sometimes if you go in there and you're like, you know what, here's something you probably weren't expecting me to do, it works. But we got a game five. It's crazy that Java had the second stock that he did yeah. and still ended up winning the game. You can see how skinny it is. And of course, the uh, x-axis is time. So it's a very short-lived stock. But also, Radish's first stock was reasonably short-lived. Not quite as much as Java's second, but still very short-lived. Okay, well, we've got Java, we've got Radish, and we've got game five, Sparky. I'm tired, bro. Do you think? I'm tired, think? bro. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they play this game. 
all day against some of the greatest players in the entire world. I don't know how they are able to flip-flop back and forth between playing against someone who's like in your face, and then all of a sudden, these games are grinding and grinding and grinding on. They have so much endurance, so much stamina. Like, yeah, they're still probably at home in their PJs. They can go to the bathroom or go on a walk, maybe take a short nap in between some of their sets, but still, it's been a very long day here for North America. I mean, at the very least, here in the top eight of things, once we started getting to the tail end, you didn't have those big gaps Game between five. matches that we did earlier on in the day and the ability to stay locked in for this long, especially for someone like Java, who already Three, went from the winner's two, set to the one, loser's final, roll. now back into the grand finals to take it to game five. That takes mental stamina. Not feeling good about uh, how the game is nope. starting off. Of course, that is within 10 seconds. So you see him immediately run off the side of the stage, whether it's a connection error, whether the client is not feeling good for him in this moment. He's able to do that. We're going to reset that game. That does not count for anything. We are washing our hands of that game, and we're going to move on to another. I don't know if it's going to be a restart coming out from Java. It looks like it is going to be a full client restart from Java. Hopefully it's not too long here, maybe not a full internet or modem restart, anything like that. See if we can glean some uh, little interesting words of wisdom from any of these live stats going on. Of course, actually, the live stats are reporting stats from the game that we technically mm -hmm. yeah. just so saw. So all zeros. So, yeah, everything is zero. Nothing to glean right there. See if we can look into the past between Java and Radish. Of course, Java coming in PR number five, Radish coming in PR number seven. So two very evenly matched players in PR, and, of course, the way they're playing today, two very evenly matched players as well. I mean, we already talked about it. Today has been a series of game fives. Time and time again, they're pushing it the distance. But now they're in. They're locked in. We got another game five. Potentially the last game five. Or potentially Please. the penultimate game five. Bro, I if don't, Java th wins. That would be wild if we end up getting a bracket reset. That would be wild. It's been such a long day here for North America. And they're hanging in there. They are. They're hanging in there. They're still Game hanging five. tough. They're pushing through all three, the way to the end. Two, three miles one, up, three four. miles down, up Kurahi. I don't understand anything you just said. It's a uh, famous hill that was climbed by Easy Company. Is that in World Jesus War II? Group? It's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it's been, so, yes. it's been such a long day. Yes. You can't you can't do easy company like that, man. You can't. I'm about to start swinging and Radish is swinging here, bringing the damage onto Java. Game five. Radish wants to put this away. He knows this has been a long one, and if he loses here, it's only going to get longer. Java, he's willing to play it out. He knows he's got to be thinking into the future. He wants to win here and then go to another best of five. Hits the dare. Keeping the damage trades. It's a side air. Keeps him off stage, but Java gets past him, or Radish gets past him. Java looking like maybe he wants to set up for that again. He was able to get back towards center. No, Radish using those soft platforms like a wall. Goes in. I mean, you make that sound because the most committal they'll do sometimes is just the dash. Yep. Utilizing that movement as much of a weapon as the actual weapons in their hands. This is the end light. Radish comes in, hits an end light. Has a little bit more damage onto Java. Potential for the KO. Doesn't get it over the corner there, and Java's going to go real high, but Radish can't cover the high recovery. Over to the boots now. Doesn't need a recovery. Denying weapons. Radish wants every advantage he can get. In the air, misses the end light. Java from below picks up the weapon. Radish being very careful. He knows he can find the KO. He grabs the side air after the neutral air. Great follow up there from Radish to secure that KO. He's like on the border between orange and red. Of course, he has the boots on his feet. Red light side air. Radish wants to clean this up immediately. You can see how high Radish is going, but Java Knight not able to get the KO. I'm a little bit surprised that didn't have like a few more active frames there to make contact with Radish. He had, I guess, perfect timing to get through that. Side light side air. Okay. Juggling the weapons, denying the weapon spawn, going back over onto the spear. 
it is surprising that both players seem so willing to go to Terminus, given that they're tri -plats. Yeah, especially because, like, we talked about this in the back, like, Orb in particular can struggle on these soft platform maps because it can stuff out those down airs, but it really hasn't been a problem for either of them. Java just ran all the way to the right side of the stage. Now he's running all the way to the left side of the stage. Now he's running all the way to the right side of the stage. Got the end light, though. Radius just going for some active frames there. Goes for the down air. Java not able to punish. Is he going to deny the weapon? Ooh, the, saw that it was blinking, so he didn't go for the pickup. actually despawned? I feel like I've never seen that. I probably have, but I don't remember ever seeing that. Yo, but great recognition from Radish. He, he let it despawn and was like, you know what? The game's gonna let me deny that weapon. For, or is gonna, it's gonna deny the weapon for me. Excuse me. <laughs> when you're this deep in the set, man, and you need the endurance and stamina, letting the game do the work for you there, very smart move. Sideline, Radish. Gonna be hunting for a KO. Nair into the recovery, one stock away. We're kind of back to the pacing in this game of about two minutes per stock. As we get in just over four minutes in this game, Radish is still holding on to his second. Weapon spawn comes in. Java's able to use the extended range to grab it. Ooh, outspaces the side signature. Radish hits the neutral air. This is starting to get a little bit scary for Java here. He's taking some punishment. Hasn't been able to find the KO options just yet. He goes for the jump recovery. Ends up going wide. Radish moves to the right side. Grabs the orb. Oh, I was almost expecting one to follow up, but I think he didn't expect to have enough movement or uh, far enough or quick enough to make a connection with Java. Java going in there. Hits the nair. He wants this KO, but you don't see him over committing for it. Was punished. Oh, chest misses the side air. Doesn't have the drift for it. Five minutes into this game. Radish still holding on to his second stock. There's the sideline side air finally taken away from him. Just under five minutes and 10 seconds into this game. Last stocks. Game I really five. wonder how it's gonna slow down now, Duke. I have a thought, but I don't wanna curse it. <laughs> nice double recovery coming out from Java. He is still on the back foot here. Java's been taking more damage than Radish. Hits him with a side light, but doesn't get the read. Java's in the red. We're in game Ooh. five here. A victory for Radish gives him the gold medal. Java has to find damage. He has to find it pretty quickly. Neutral air sending over to the edge. Ooh. Again, recovering very Ooh. low alongside the stage. It's not going to take much more for Radish Ooh. to find a KO. That down air doesn't make a connection. He wants Radish to commit. He gets underneath them. Side light, side air. Radish closes it out. He is going to be your trial of Ymir champion for North America. That was a six minute game, Duke. By the time all things were said and done, amazing, 